Hi. Welcome to the new session of story reading. In today's session, we will uh, see the story King of Birds. Author, African Storybook Initiative, Illustrator, Vihan Diegar, and the publisher is AfricanStoryBook.org. So in this story, uh, the birds plan to get a king for themselves. Let's see how they do that. Once long ago, the birds had a meeting. They wanted a king just like people and animals. Which bird should be king? As animals and we humans have a king for ourselves, the birds also wanted a king. So they held a meeting. They all had a discussion to select a king for themselves. The eagle, he is strong and kingly, said one. No, he has no crown. And when he calls, he sounds too sad, said another. Then ostrich, because he is the largest and roars like a lion, one called out. No, he can't fly. The king of the birds must be able to fly. Somebody gave the first suggestion and the suggestion was eagle. They said it is so strong and it looks also like a king. But then others said, no, no, he doesn't have a crown. No crown on his head. So we cannot select him. Then came the ostrich. They said, it is the largest bird and it also has a long neck and it makes a sound like a lion which is so strong. But somebody said, no, no, it can't fly. Can a king of birds be a person who cannot fly? I think I should be king, said Peacock, fanning his tail. I am so beautiful. You are too proud, said Owl. I have the largest eyes of any bird. I should be king. No, not you, Owl, they shouted. You go to sleep when the sun rises. So the third comes the peacock. It says, I should be the king because I'm so beautiful. It said like that by opening its feathers, showing all the colors. And the owl said, no, no, you're so proud of your beauty. I should be the king because I have a biggest and largest eyes. But somebody said, no, no, you go to sleep when the sun rises. And so they didn't get very far. Then one bird had an idea. He who can fly the highest will be king, he said. Yes, yes, they shouted and they all flew up, up into the sky. And so they were all discussing like this. Then one bird had an idea. It suggested. So the bird which flies the highest will be selected and will be the king for us. So the others said, oh, yes, yes. So that they all started flying now high into the sky. The goose flew for one day straight over the highest mountains in the world. The eagle flew for two days into the blue above the mountains. But the vulture soared for three whole days without stopping straight toward the sun. The first bird who flew was the goose. This is the goose. It straightly went over the mountains there and it flew for one day. The second one was the eagle. It flew for two days directly to the sky 
and above the mountains again. And the third one was the vulture. It soared for three whole days without stopping at all. And it went towards the sun. It moved towards the sun. Soared. Soar meaning flying fast and high in the air is called soar. Way above them, the birds heard vulture cry. I'm the highest. I am king. So above all, the vulture was saying, I'm the highest. But then just above him, vulture heard a tiny voice. Think, think, think. I am the highest. I am king. It was NCD, the Nidiki, the smallest bird of all. He had held on to the great wing feathers of vulture as he soared into the sky. Now, vulture hears somebody saying in a low voice, but I am the highest. I am the king. So he saw who was that saying like this. That too in a very low voice. Nidiki. It is a bird. It is the smallest bird. Which is found in central and southern Africa. So that bird was saying that I am the highest and I will be the king. So the trick the bird did was. It caught hold of the vulture's wings when it flew onto the sky. You won't beat me again, said vulture and soared straight up into the air. He flew up and up until he could fly no more. I am higher than any other bird. I am your king, he cried. Now he said, oh, you came like this, is it? So now I'm not going to leave you. I will fly still more higher that nobody can come and beat me. So it flew still more higher. And it said, I am the king now. But out from under his wing crept the tiny bird. Tink, 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 tink. It is I, the smallest one. I am your king. Vulture was too exhausted to fly any further. But now what happened? Even now, the small bird it came out from the bird's wings. Crept up, meaning to move very quickly without others notice. So it comes out from the wing and it says, I am the highest. So I'm going to be the king. So Walter is now so tired to fly any further. So down he sailed with the little bird still under his wing. The other birds were furious with NCD. They waited for him ready to pluck out all his feathers. So now the vulture was so tired and it just came down without flying more high. Now, even now, the small bird was under its wings. And when the other birds saw, they were so angry. And they were planning, I should get that small bird and pluck all its feathers. But the quick little bird saw how angry they were and flew into an empty snake hole. So now the small bird understood, oh, the other birds are so angry with me. So I should not be caught hold. So it planned. And it suddenly flew directly into an empty snake hole. There was a snake hole there. So it just flew inside the snake hole. With your big eyes, you must keep guard 
at the hole and catch him when he comes out. They said to Owl. So Owl sat in front of the hole. So now the birds all gave instructions to the Owl. They said, you just have an eye on the hole. Whenever the bird comes out, you should catch hold of the bird. Now the Owl was sitting in front of the hole watching the bird to come out. But the sun was warm and soon Owl was fast asleep. The little bird peeped out, saw that Owl was asleep and zip away he went. So when the sun came, the Owl's nature is to go to sleep. So the sun came and it went to sleep. The little bird came out like this and saw, oh, the owl is sleeping. So that was a chance for him to escape. Zip! It flew away very fast. Owl was very ashamed that he had let the little bird escape. Now he only hunts at night. In the day, he sleeps away from the sight of the other birds. So Owl is so ashamed that he could not get hold of the tiny, very tiny bird. And now it is so afraid of the other birds that it would punish him. So he doesn't come out in the daytime at all. Did you all enjoy the story? And the trick, the little bird did, right? It was nice hearing, right? So clever. Bye. Difficult words soared, flying fast and high in the air. Nediki, it is the smallest bird found in southern and central part of Africa. Crept to move quickly without others' notice. Try these. Explain the trick played by the small bird. Second, whom should you think be the king of the birds?